In this brand new video, you will now discover another data type, tuples. Be sure to stick around, and watch until the end of this video, if you want to discover various actions and methods that you can perform on tuples, and practice with an exercise. Please, do not forget to smash that like button, for the YouTube algorithm, since it does really help supporting us, and providing new free content, once a week. Are you interested to be part of this community? All the links are in the description below. Now, let's play this video. Awesome, it's your time to practice now. All of these instructions are in the description below, and will combine all the methods you have discovered during this class. In this exercise, you will have to declare a tuple with the values red, green, blue, yellow, and black. First, you will have to unpack this tuple into multiple variables, within their respective names. Then, if the tuple has a value green and that it corresponds to the second item, update the variable yellow with the value orange, then change the order of the items, by swapping the values of the variables red and black together. Finally, you will pack all these variables into a new tuple, and iterate through the items until you meet the value orange. Once you have encountered this item, convert this tuple into a list, use its index to update the value orange back to its original value yellow, and convert it back to your tuple. Then, break out of the loop once it's done. Eventually, you will use the slicing operator so that you do not keep the last value, and print out the resulting tuple. Please, do tell me in the comment, what did you get? Here is a solution, and may vary from yours. First let's declare a variable my tuple, with the values red, green, blue, yellow, and black. Then, unpack this tuple into variables with their respective names. Now, you will check whether an item green exists inside my tuple, and if it corresponds to the second item. If it does, you will enter the if statement and change the value of the variable yellow, with the value orange. Plus, swap the two variables red and black together, so that the variable red becomes black, and the variable black becomes red. Before proceeding with the for loop, you will pack all the variables into a new tuple. Then iterate through its items using for loop and the enumerate function, so that you can access both the current value, and its associated index in the tuple. As soon as you encounter the value orange, you will convert your tuple into a list. Update the item located at this index, with the new value, yellow. Then, convert it back into your tuple, so you can exit the loop straight away. Finally, you will use the slicing operator so you keep all of the items inside your tuple, except the last one. Running this program should give you the tuple, black, green, blue, and, yellow, since the last one has been removed. Congrats! You just wrote your first complex program using tuple, and some of the operations you can perform on it. Please tell me in the comments, if you found the answer, or have any question? And check out our blog, if you want more examples. If you like this video, please, do not forget to give a thumb up, and subscribe our channel. Digital Academy, Learn Free. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like. Comment and share.